Hola, bon dia. We are back. And thank you for tuning in to our continuing adventure, What It's Like to Live Here in Portugal. And if you're a first time viewer, please like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe because we've got a lot of good stuff coming up in the next few months. So for those of you who are regular viewers, and you haven't seen us for a while, yeah. we have been totally focused on Portuguese class. And we had seven months of it, uh, 50 classes, and our focus was supposed to be on that. And so, <laughs> yeah. you know, you can, a lot of you was like, where are they, where are they? Yeah, that's where we were. And so we're finished with class. Yay! Yay! And we're pretty sure we passed. Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, we haven't gotten our certificates yet. No. That's supposed to happen soon. When we were planning to move to Portugal, um, we knew there were going to be challenges, especially language, because we have so many other things to learn about how things work here and mm -hmm. the bureaucracy and just different things, being, being in Europe. Um, but one thing we weren't all that clear of, even though we did the Camino before, yes. we weren't really clear how it was going to work out with all the people we were going to meet besides the Portuguese people. And this is what the class has been so incredible for because we have this inclusive experience mm -hmm. of learning about the Portuguese, learning about the Portuguese culture. We know now how, what kind of efforts we need to make to gain Portuguese friends because they are wonderful and so loving, but they won't come out and go for you unless you give them an opening. What an incredible, incredible surprise it's been to have all these friends, all these people that really want to talk with us and 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 just just share all kinds of interesting stuff about their countries and most everybody wants to know why are you here yeah why? they want why? to know why there's and curiosity as to curiosity. why we're we've made this move but when we talk about it it's like they're basically uh and if they're an expat as well they're here for the same reason um quality of life etc all the things we've yeah. talked about in other yeah. videos it's the same identical thing for them being in Porto. The world's coming to us. There are, there are. I mean, when you think about all the different countries that are here represented, it's it's astounding, and they're all here for the same reason. They're here for a quality of life. They're here for affordability. Many are here for jobs. Several are here for going to school. Yeah, education opportunities are, are pretty big. And they're all interested in talking to other people and finding out more and more about the whole world through these, through these wonderful connections. So the barriers come down immediately. Uh, we don't talk really about politics. We, you know, we don't necessarily get into that. We talk about our experiences right now and what we're going through. So if, if you're looking if you're thinking about making a move as an expat anywhere in the world, one of the great benefits, if if this is something you desire, is that these culture wall, uh, barriers, these culture walls, will come down very easily as long as you're making the effort to reach out and talk to somebody else. Yeah, true. We, um, we just had a uh, celebration picnic. This is kind of this is our second one. So it's becoming the annual celebration <laughs> picnic. And it, it involves celebrating our 43rd anniversary together, uh, which is quite an accomplishment right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <for> sure. and, <laughs> and then also we're into our third year living here in Porto, in Portugal. Uh, and what else were we? So, oh, we were celebrating completing a language class. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so, but what the, the great thing about it is that it wasn't just expats that we invited to our celebration picnic. It was the expats, our new friends here in Portugal, and then other people that we've met from around the world. Well, there are also expats too. Yes, so yes. So it's American expats and others. 
And so we had this very diverse group at our um, picnic celebration. And what's, what's interesting is that being an expat, meaning that you've made that decision to move to a new country, to a, a, a new surrounding, is that you immediately have an understanding about each other and the conversations really flow. There's not a lot of the static about, oh, what, you know, what do you do? Where do you live? All that. It's all about having this experience of learning a whole bunch of new things in a country that you have possibly never lived in before. Yes, everybody's wanting to know about each other's culture and understand each other. And we all find out so yeah. incredibly yes. that we're pretty much all on the same page, even if we have language differences, and we do. In, in order to make Portuguese friends early on, we decided that we were going to stretch our comfort zone and we were going to learn to shop more locally because by the first couple months in, we learned the grocery stores pretty well. Mm -hmm. And that became easy. And so if you wanna make friends, you gotta get out there where people will help you and be available, even if they speak no English. And so we all have translator tools because mm -hmm. of technology, they do too. Yeah. And um, we made a commitment to, to bust it out, and go to the local Taliu, the butcher, go to the bottle shop, go to the uh, the little variety stores, mm -hmm. just all around, flower shop, just so many places that that we can put our money if we need something. And part, uh, part of the key there is that they're all business owners, of course, and it's amazing that after you've been in them once or twice, they recognize you and they they know that you've been there before and they appreciate it because they know there's competition for shopping in the area. Uh, so so it's interesting how you'll walk in the second or third time and they're like, oh, and um, that's that's important because it's the frequency. It's not just going in once. It's frequency of going it is because they they recognize you there is um we have a a, a, a building manager is it okay yeah, okay yeah. who uh runs a very small fruiteria so what she has in there is some vegetables and produce uh fruit and um and some other necessary items that you know you could just pop in and get toilet paper or detergent or some things, some wine. She has a few items that you might need. She actually has uh, toothpaste. quite a bit. Well, yeah, she has several <laughs> shelves, but, but she has, yeah. She, and she also has uh, uh, a little freezer case with, with some frozen items in there. Yeah. Anyway, bottom line, all that stuff that she has, I can get up at the big grocery store. And in making friends with her, I realized that I've got to make an effort to like, oh, do I need some onions or potatoes or carrots? Maybe I can pop in and buy cabbage from her um, and keep the dialogue going. And it's been really rewarding and really fun. And uh, I, we walk past her door, we'll go, bon dia, bon dia, <laughs> and she's all bon dia. And, and it's like we connect up even when we're on the sidewalk. So that has been really cool. And the other really cool thing, and this was a surprise, was our Portuguese class because we picked this particular class because it was the national class. Mm. It was free. We thought, well, why not try this national class if we can get in? And we weren't sure for a while if we could even get in, but we did thanks to the help of two of our friends that took it prior. And that has been the incredible reward because we were the only Americans, the only English speakers. This pr pr uh, teacher, our professora, didn't speak English. So a lot of times we were in total confusion, naturally. And, but we learned so much about Portuguese culture because we had some events through the class that were amazing. And everybody in there was from somewhere else. So we've gained this whole new circle of friends because they were wanting to reach out as well. And actually we're starting to get together with some of them now that the class is over to actually be, to 
get to learn more about each other because yeah. we didn't talk much in class. <laughs> no. I, and I want to say something as a side note with, you know, shopping locally and popping into our little uh, fruiterias and, and uh, the Talu, our butcher shop. We couldn't, we wouldn't do that if we owned a car. We would be more yeah. likely to get in our car right. and go somewhere. For Living sure. without owning a vehicle means you're walking everywhere. And when you walk everywhere, you can stop at, at you know, in the moment and say hi to somebody. Whether you're going in to purchase something in the doorway, you can just say, hola, bon dia, and you get one back. And that's another point <laughs> of connection. Yeah. And that is one of the things that, why we picked living in a, in a city environment uh, to have that energy and that ability to connect with a lot of different it's people. It's more profound than, than we ever thought. Right. So the, you know, the main thing we wanted to talk about was this, this wonderful gift of world diversity that we're getting to experience yeah. and that we would, uh, we would love to see everybody enjoy it as much as we do to have that opportunity, whether you come here on a, if you, you know, if you on a vacation or a holiday, come for a month, use this as a, uh, your central location to, to explore out from, or if you're looking at getting ready to move here, please connect with us. We'll help a answer any questions. There's, we have a uh, lots of information we can share. Which leads me to stay tuned for the next several months. We have some new things that uh, we are working on to uh, bring out and to share with you and to offer. Um, and we're excited. Uh, it's <laughs> like, we, you know, we're done with class now and it's like life is freed up again. <laughs> so we are ready to go. Anything else? Nope. Not for right now. And as those of you that have watched us, the big exciting question <laughs> that we like to ask at the end of each video is what, what adventure, adventure are, are you, you on, on today? today?